Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be doing a budget update for this week. Um, not much has changed, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk through everything that we've been um, the envelopes that we've been dipping into and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So in this uh, wallet, we keep our um, envelopes that we spend that we use throughout the week, like eating out which is probably the one that we go through pretty uh, often. I already have a pen right here. <laughs> um, okay, so eating out this week, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, $14 out of 120, I believe it was. And we have one more week to go basically <sighs> eating out for us is just so so hard but yep that's what we have for eating out miscellaneous still has 20 yep household has six dollars i believe we use this to buy um some bricks to go underneath our fence because our dog keeps getting out or kept getting out so my husband used some of this money to buy um, some bricks to go underneath so he doesn't dig through the bottom. And then spending had um, $50, but I spent it almost immediately because <laughs> um, I was inspired by someone else on YouTube. I should say influenced. I was influenced by someone on YouTube. And um, I ended up buying an Erin Condren planner. And now I think I'm going to be doing this like budget updates on pen and paper just to kind of keep track of everything and just i don't know see how that goes but anyway i bought a planner with that money so that's what we have in our wallet next are our um sinking funds so sinking funds i know we can't we spent some of this so Birthdays had 74, but then we took a family member out for dinner, and then we had $24 left over. We ended up purchasing something for our son on Target because his birthday's coming up, so we spent that $24. So now birthdays has a zero. Let me just update this. Today's date is. 29th um, I'm just gonna put B gift minus 24 so now it has zero dollars his birthday is coming up quickly next Saturday I think so we bought him a couple of little gifts for his birthday okay birthdays has zero fun we have not touched just double check. It should have 76, 2, 6, 75, 6. Yep. I think the only other one that's changed in here is. Oh no, there's a couple that have changed. Okay, so Brody's. Brody's, we had initially had his in the bank, um, but his. Bur his Oh yeah, his birthday is coming up, but school is coming up. So um, he needs school supplies, clothes, and a pair of shoes. So we ended up taking out um, money from the bank to put in his envelope. And the reason why, look how cute this wallet is. Not wallet, what is it called? Like a bank bag, I guess. I got it on Etsy. Um... I wanted to actually have the cash on hand instead of keeping it in the bank because that way we can kind of see um, how much we're spending. So we ended up taking out $350 for his school supplies, clothes, and a pair of shoes. So let's count this out. There's $100, $200. Put that to the side. $100, $200. 
two, four, six, eight. Wait, 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 what? 100, 200. One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, pff, I left 20 in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so that's 350. Um, for his school back to school shopping, which we're gonna do this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in his envelope. And I'll write this here. 729 amount is plus 350. My brain is not working. Being 30 almost 36 weeks pregnant my mind is just like on sleep and how to control my heavy breathing <laughs> okay so 350 for Brody's envelope and then Landon we did go to five below earlier this week it took the boys just to get out of the house um, we ran a couple errands and then I thought, oh, let's take them to Five Below so they can just go, you know, buy a couple little things. So Landon had $47 in his envelope and he spent $7.85 at Five Below. So, let's see. So he should have thirty-nine dollars. Let's see. Thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Perfect. He has thirty-nine dollars in his little envelope. And that's why I love having like an envelope for them. For when we go to the store and they want to purchase something. They have their own money that they can spend. And that's it. Oh, pfft. I didn't update it. I'm telling you, my brain. So uh, I'm just gonna put today's date. I'm gonna put five below minus seven. I usually don't, well, almost never count the change. And I put the change in a jar. And at the end of the year, we'll go deposit it into the boys' bank all that change so that's where this 15 cents will go all right so now Landon has 39 vacation wasn't touched I don't believe I don't believe any of this was touched but I'm just gonna flip through it really quick nothing with Easter no Halloween Christmas no nothing else was touched all right so that is my um, budget update for this week. Like I said, next week, hopefully I'll have my stickers in from Etsy and I'll actually be doing this on paper. Um, for the longest time, I was trying to figure out how can I do um, everything that I see on YouTube, like the budget update. I wasn't understanding how people were doing that. And I realized that well, watching another video and I'll put her link down below because her videos are uh, interesting to me. She used an Aaron, Conlin, Aaron Conran monthly to do her budgeting. And I was like, it ha I had like an epiphany. <laughs> I was like, of course, because I thought people were using a regular weekly Aaron Condren. But anyway, um, hopefully by next week I'll be doing my budget updates with my new planner. My planner came in today, just waiting on the stickers now on Etsy. But anywho, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.